Hi. Good morning. Hey. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hey. Hi. Put your hand up if you feel like I'm on the brink sometimes. Come on a journey with me. Let's do some discovery. So, just walking down the street because I thought I'd take you on a little walk with me. It is just so pretty. Well, I love it in the winter. Um, it's cold, but I think the snow makes up for it. Anyway, it's just so pretty out here. And some of the trees, I'll try and focus in on them. So I'm not called Mum on the Brink for nothing. Um, oh gosh, I can just totally wallow and it's just so easy, but I always make an effort to try not to allow myself. And since we've moved to Sweden and I've been spending more and more time here, I've learned that you have to learn to cope with this sort of cold and dreary days. And yeah, when the snow's on the ground, it's, it's lovely. And it's actually so much better. But, you know, there must be something about the Scandinavians. And before we moved here, someone suggested reading a little book called uh, A Year of Living Danishly. They said, well, you know, Denmark, Sweden, it's not the same, but some of the principles are the same. And this little book introduced me to the concept of hygge. And it also got me curious that the Danes are apparently the happiest nation according to a UN survey and they've come top for the last 40 years or so and I just find that fascinating how do they do it I mean they've got these really long dark winters cold and all how do they stay happy so I thought I'd give myself a challenge to try and do that sure lots of cultures have sort of a culture of contentment and it's mostly the northern nations I mean, the Danes have hygge, the Swedes have lagom, the Japanese have ikigai. And you know, it's all about contentedness and living within your means, being happy with it, but making most of it, most of what you've got, not just consuming more, more, more. So last year I wrote a blog post about five ways to hygge and they were about candles and making the house cosy. Um, but it's just so much more than that. Oh, there is so much more to hygge. I mean, by all means, go overboard with the candles and the fairy lights. Just do it tastefully. And before you do, why would you clutter a bit and adding just elements of cosy afterwards? The scent of your grandma's cooking and those old recipes will add coziness. If you spend time with family and friends, that bonds and that gives a cosy. And go outdoors, whatever the weather. How do you who get? How do you stay happy and contented when the weather's not quite nice and oh, the kids are driving you mad? But I just thought I'd want to challenge everyone else to see how do we do it? So I'm going to rope in others who are wanting to follow the concept of hygge. Yes, that's you I'm talking about. So what I'd like you to do, if you want to join in, is go over to my Facebook page, which is Mum on the Brink, and send me your pictures and all your small video clips of your first Huga challenge, which is go outdoors. Just whatever the weather, have a half an hour walk with your family. I'm really hoping some of you will join in, and I really look forward to seeing what you guys send in. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any following episodes. And look forward to all the next challenges.